All right, now the story in Mafia 2 overall is fantastic, I have to admit. You follow Vito Scaletta, who is an Italian-American, and he's pretty much coming back from the from the war. He's coming back a war hero, pretty much. He was shot, he's coming back, he's like, yeah, I'm going to go visit my family. So he goes visits his family, he hasn't seen for a little while, he sees his mom and his sister, oh, he's like, oh, he's all happy. But he finds out they actually have debts, uh, a whole lot of debts from his uh somewhat worthless father. They don't really talk about him that much, but they say he's very much worthless. He's a drunk, so obviously that means he's worthless. Uh, so, yeah. He has to go pay off his debts, and how does he do it? He has his friend Joe, who is part of a uh, um, mafia, let's just say that, and he pretty much does jobs for Joe, and then he gets uh, jobs from everybody else and all these other people, and he pretty much tries to pay it off. And after that, it pretty much goes into this whole thing where he pretty much I don't I don't want to well it's called mafia, so really if this is a spoiler, I, I just won't say anything. He just it it goes on from there. He pretty much tries to make money. Uh, something happens here and there, and just overall, it's a fantastic story. I don't want to spoil anything, even though it's called mafia. I don't want to. Still want people calling? Oh, that's still a spoiler. Even if the movie, the game's called Mafia. I just, I just don't. I don't want to spoil anything. Even though it's not really a spoiler. So overall, the story I thought was fantastic. Let's go on to the sound of this game. Okay, now the voice acting in this game is fantastic. Now when I was playing it, I did realize a lot of stereotypes. Like me and Review Guru, if you know him, uh, realized a lot of st stereotypes in this game. But those are all just like, you know, characters in the background. I mean, you had Red Dead Redemption characters that were very stereotypical, too, but that voice acting was fantastic. In this, everybody that voices the main characters is fantastic. The guy who voices Vito, Joe, uh, all all of Vito's bosses, everybody is that's actual a uh, main character, like somewhat main character, is fantastic. But you have some stereotypes in here, like you have an Asian stereotype, he's like, oh, I saw, and then you got a black stereotype, yo, I'm gonna beat this whitey's ass, and all that stuff. So you got some stereotypes, so if you are if you don't like that kind of stuff, then you might not like some of the voice acting in this. I thought it was kind of hilarious. I mean, there was no white guy like, oh, I'm a business man, and I eat macaroni and cheese. There was no uh, guy like that, but, you know, I'm a success. No, <laughs> I'm successful. <laughs> That's funny, because he's right. Uh, he's white, and he's right. There you go. So, yeah, overall, the voice acting is fantastic. The sound effects overall, too, are fantastic. Uh, the, like, the cars all sound really, really nice. The guns, they all sound like what they would sound like in 1940, 1950s. And, yeah, like, the Tommy gun sounds badass, the pistol sounds bad, everything sounds badass. So, overall, the sound is another fantastic thing that, uh, 2K has done right. So, thank, thank you, 2K, for making two things almost perfect. So, what could be the big problem with this game? I don't know, let's go into graphics and see if that's a problem. Okay, now the graphics in the game, again, another thing, they did not screw up. They took time with this game, and it actually looks really, really good. Now, I will say it looks really, really good. I will not say it's even close to Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption is one of the best-looking games of all time, and it's a sandbox team. So, if you're going, why do you keep comparing it? Well, it's because, I mean, come on. They also, they both had almost the same development period, almost. I think Red Dead Redemption had a couple more years, but, you know, it, it, it was Somewhat semi close, you know. So of course, Red Dead Redemption is gonna look much better than this. But what I'm saying is, there's some textures in here that don't really look right. There's some mo uh, character models that just don't look right either. Like there's there was a uh, again, I'm gonna say the stereotypes. Like you have an Asian stereotype. He looks so Asian. Uh, and you have a black stereotype. He looks like the guy from Heavy Rain if you played that. The black guy from Heavy Rain. There's only one black guy in Heavy Rain. But uh. You know, that guy. And, I mean, jeez, uh, that I had a problem with. But everything else, like the main character, Vito, he looks j almost just as good as a character from Heavy Rain. I mean, he has all the pores and all that stuff. He has emotion in his eyes. He doesn't look like a dead fish like all these characters. I mean, all these reviewers are saying. He looks like he has emotion in his face, and I really like that. Uh, the other characters like Joe and uh, all the other bosses, I'm like forgetting their names, but they all look fantastic. The guns look really, really cool. The cars look awesome, I have to admit. The cars look really nice. And they like the water effects, and even some of the environments look good, but some of the textures are a little off. And I didn't really notice a lot of frame rate hiccups, but a lot of people have been talking about them, so maybe, maybe I just didn't notice them because I was having an awesome time, but... 
I don't know. I didn't. I didn't real really realize them. Maybe a couple times, but I didn't really realize them. So overall, another thing that's really really good. Not fantastic because it has a lot of problems. Some character models and some of the uh, well, actually a lot of the textures I would say. But overall, it's still a really nice looking game. So yeah, let's go on to the gameplay of this game. Okay, now the gameplay in the game is actually just as good as the graphics, I would have to say. There is some problems, but I thought it was really good overall. Now let me get to my problems first. First, I thought the gunplay was actually really good, but it takes some time getting used to because you don't, you can't change the sensitivity. So it's a little slippery sometimes, and you can't change the sensitivity, but you get used to it real quick, like I did. The camera when you're inside houses is really, really too close to you. Like when you're in your house or something or apartment, it's like right to his head. So you can barely see what the hell's going on. And I was getting confused sometimes, but it's fine. It's only when you're in houses and stuff. But sometimes you have a mission where you're in a warehouse or something. And sometimes it's a little too close. I'm like, okay, come on. Uh, but sometimes it's fine when you're in a house. So, okay, whatever. I mean, not a big gripe, but whatever. Uh, and also some of the mission varieties, some of it is weird. Like one mission, uh, the whole mission, the whole chapter of this mission is you driving. That's it. N not overcoming obstacles. You're just driving to one point to the other. And I'm like, okay, come on. You're driving a whole bunch of drunk people. Sure, it was funny, but you didn't do anything. You didn't fight off cops or something. You went, got someone's car, picked these guys up and drove. That's it. I crashed a whole bunch of times, so there was, like, no problem me of, like, you can't crash or, uh, they'll throw up over you or something. No, there's no big problem like that. Yeah, I mean, I crashed a whole bunch of times. It was fine. And, you know, there was no big problem. I just had to drive. I just had to drive. And, you know, I, I just didn't like it. Also, one thing I don't like, but I also kind of like, is the fuel system. Like, you actually have to buy gas for your car, which is really cool. But I have a problem with it because during a mission, when you're driving away from a cop or something, one time I was driving away from a cop, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to make it. Running low on fuel. I'm like, fuck, I'm still going. Cops still catch after me. Fuel, gone. I'm, I'm like, mission failed. I was like, screw me. <laughs> I was like, okay. Sure, it's cool sometimes, but not fan. Actually, that wasn't during a mission. All right, I'll give you that. I forgot. It wasn't during a mission. It was just me screwing around. But still, the fuel system screws you over sometimes. So, yeah, like one mission, I was about to run out of gas, so I had to stop and get gas. But that was fine because that was the driving mission. So everything else, though, I really like. Like the gunplay, mostly I like. Uh, a lot of the mission variety I do like. And the characters I really, really like. That has nothing really to do with gameplay. But there's also one more problem, there's no multiplayer, and the length of the game is actually pretty good. Now, I've been hearing it was short, so I was expecting 10 hours, but it's pretty long. It's about 15 to maybe 16 hours, which is pretty good, and I think that's worth a $60 price tag. Uh, I don't think it's uh, worth it if you do not like If you didn't like the demo, then I don't think it's worth it, but if you really, really like the demo and you're thinking of getting this, I really think so. I think it's a very, very good game. So, overall... I really like the game. I recommend I highly recommend it. And, yeah, it's one of my favorites this year, definitely. I couldn't wait for it, and I loved it. There you go. There's my review, and goodbye. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Check the description on the bottom. I'm pointing to the bottom to see the full written review. Okay, thank you, and bye.